So, in order to be able to simulate our code, we have something called emulator. So, if you go here, it says AVD Manager. It stands for Android, Android Virtual Device Manager. So, it creates some virtual device for us uh, in order to run our code and see what it looks like in real phones. So if uh, you're most probably seeing nothing in here, you have to click on this create a virtual device. So you can choose your virtual device from here. You can choose a Nexus 5, 5X6, anything you want. It doesn't really matter. Okay, I generally go uh, with Nexus 5X, but as I said, it generally doesn't matter. You can just go with Nexus 6. And click on Next. And from here, you have to download the system image, the system version that you want to create your uh, emulator with. Okay? So, if you want to run your code in Android O, which I recommend you to do so, you have to download the Android O. Oh, it's already downloaded on my uh, Nexus 5X here, so I'm not going to bother with it, but please download it and click on Next to finish your uh, setup for Android virtual device. After creating your virtual device from here, what you can do is actually go to this run Okay, and click on it. When you click on it, it will choose a deployment target for you. And if you have a real Android phone, you can just uh, plug in into your computer with your USB and it will show up here. You can just uh, run your applications in your own phone, but uh, you won't use it every time we, we're going to use this emulator so much time uh, like we're going to write two sentences of codes two lines of codes and we're just going to run it okay so you're going to need this virtual device anyway so after choosing your virtual device and please uh, see that because since I have chosen Android O when I'm creating this project, it won't run on Android Nougat it, yeah, or Marshmallow. It will run only on Android O. So this is now unavailable for me, but this is available. So I'm choosing the Android O and it will start my emulator for me, like you can see. And uh, you can see some the Gradle is to compile everything and run uh, our code for us. Okay, we will see how we can just use this Gradle later on. But we uh, just know that uh, Gradle compiles this code and runs for us. Okay, and here is our emulator, and as you can see. Uh, this is the same process like firing up, uh, just opening up a phone, okay? Uh, and we can uh, we can have some options here. We have some options actually here, like we have a turn off option. We have some volume options. We can change uh, the landscape or portrait mode from here. Okay, and we can zoom in and we can take screenshots, take pictures. Okay, uh, we can just go back with clicking on here. And now you can see this is Android O setup and it's, it's running our application for us. Uh, what we have here is we actually have only one thing, which is Hello Kotlin. So it's showing the Hello Kotlin for us. And we have some uh, advanced options in here, like a uh, location, cellular, battery, and everything. So we have 
some real emulator in here to simulate emulate every condition on our phone so after, if you're done with your emulator setup let's stop here and within the next lecture let's create our first application